And blessings, brothers and sisters. Here are the prophetic messages, the holy rehmas from our holy father, Yahuwah. Yahusha HaMashiach and the Ruach HaKodesh are one from various of his messengers and prophets. I just re-echo, so help me God. Father, send the Holy Spirit to help me to re-echo your rehmas. And may you have discernment and confirmation. Please use headphones for clarity. Thank you. And please do share. And thus says the Lord to all the peoples who dwell upon the earth, I have seen and I have heard. Behold, I am he who knows all your goings out and comings in. I have seen and I have heard. I know all your doings, even your every thought and intention. Your ways are evil and your hearts black, O most wicked generation. Therefore, thus says the Lord Yahuwah, I am come down to grab hold of you, O inhabitants of my garden. I shall grab hold of my people swiftly, and with the strength of my right hand shall they ascend out of your sight. And behold, with my left hand I shall shake the earth mightily, and, I, and all shall fear, all shall fear. Behold, I shall grab hold of the Pacific plate, and I shall twist it, lo, I shall press down upon it heavily, and it shall tip, it shall crack, it shall surely buckle. Behold, many waters shall flow backwards in that day. No more shall I cause the ocean to know its place. No more shall I say to the waters, you shall proceed no further, for I shall strike the northmost parts until they are no more. I shall reach down to the south into the great treasuries of ice and snow and push them into the sea in one day. And the seas shall increase by measure before the eyes of these multitudes, before the eyes of all those who dwell near the coastlines, and before the paled faces of the wealthy, who by greed and evil gain have constructed tall towers and built extravagant houses upon the shores. Watch, be awestruck in astonishment, O foolish people who build upon the sand. Watch how swiftly calamity overtakes you. And how the waters inundate and swallow up the shores, and the land shrinks back at the power of the sea. Then shall they know I am the Lord, for the word of the wisest among them shall fail, and the knowledge of the most learned among them shall be accounted as dung. When calamity upon calamity breaks out upon every nation, for I am he, God, who formed it, yet I shall set my foot over Israel, and in my shadow shall they be protected against all their enemies. And amen. With a backward swipe of my hand shall I make a great slaughter. I shall tread upon the land of the north and bring up calamity from the south. Even she who dwells there shall fight against them, yet she shall have no authority and retain no strength through her agreement. Nor shall the kings of the south gain any ground against those who sit at ease upon their self-appointed thrones, and war shall break out to the launching of many devices, bringing much destruction and death. Behold, my footsteps shall quake upon the earth and bring up fervent heat from beneath, causing a great shaking upon the land. Great pillars of smoke shall be seen, 
the sky shall be blackened, and the moon shall be red like blood. Great outcries shall be heard from every land, for the wrath in the Lord's cup is full, and the measure of his indignation overflows. Satan's strongholds shall be swallowed up, and the vines of wickedness shall be overcome by the sea, says the Lord God in his fury. City by city shall be oppressed and broken down by the blast of my nostrils. When I call nature to rise up and fight against the peoples of the earth, every burning, burning tear you have caused me shall rain down in torrents of flooding rain. Every burning tear you have caused me shall rain down in torrents of flooding rain with a great multitude of hail mixed with fire and blood falling upon all the green places. Lo, the sweat of my brow shall inundate the cities and the towns while still other places shall be left utterly desolate. The heat of my face shall burn against the inhabitants. And by the hotness of my anger shall I scorch the earth. Behold, the dry and cracked ground shall speak in the hollows of the waste places as a testament against them. The heat shall be very oppressive and desolation shall overtake them at noonday. For who can hide from the face of the Almighty? In the heat of his wrath, or escape the strength of his arm, when it is outstretched in his anger? Who shall be able to stand in the day of the Lord, when his footsteps tread heavily upon the earth? And who? shall not bow down at the sound of his voice when it speaks like thunder with the sound of many waters. For it is a mighty wind rushing through all the earth, resounding even unto the deepest of depths. Hear me, for I am God alone. There is none besides me, Yahweh. He who causes to be, he who is from everlasting and shall be, I am. Therefore, put no trust in any idol, nor in any image made from stone or marble, nor of wood, nor of brass or gold, nor of fine metal, for there is no life in them. They cannot speak or walk. They have no power at all. Yea, men bear them upon their shoulders, for they cannot move from their places. They have no strength. They are helpless, worthless images, carved in futility, and must be born, and must be born. Look how they topple when the earth is shaken by the strength of my hand, and break apart beneath the weight of my footsteps. Neither put your trust in any man, though he speaks with a clever tongue, with many enticing words, with words of unity and peace, with many great promises, and though others bow down to him and give him glory, you shall not place your trust in any man, for man is but flesh, easily crushed beneath the weight of a single branch falling from a tree. Yet the whole of this earth is my footstool, and the vastness of the universe, universe is but a garment declaring my glory. And who among men is able to comprehend its scope, says the glorious one of Israel, the creator of heaven and earth, the God of all, even of all your fathers, your maker, 
even of the first man, Adam, the father of all, and Amen. Therefore, again I call upon you to kiss the Son and bow down before your King, for He alone is your salvation. He alone is your only escape. He is the light, the only way, and the only truth. There is no life apart from Him. Apart from Him is only great darkness and deceit, the way into destruction and death. Yahuwah, Yahushua, Yahuwah is His name, the, Mes the Mashiach, the bearer of the cross, the lover of your soul. I repeat, Yahushua, Yahuwah is His name, the Mashiach, the bearer of your cross, the lover of of your soul, the risen one, the mighty one of Jacob, yes, Emmanuel, the holy one of Israel. Give him all glory, for he is worthy, and thus saith the Lord, Yahuwah, and Amen. Brothers and sisters, I'll send you my blessings. Please share and please give thumbs up to make the video be seen by others. And don't forget to join Ruach Rehma on Brighteon.com. And I pray Psalms 91 upon us all. Church, be ready. Bride, the bridegroom comes.